Okay, today we're going to attempt the first eye exam using Google Glass. And Paul, I'm Dr. Morgan. Right. I'm going to start out with a little case history. Okay. And we're going to record that. Google Glass, OK Glass. Record a video. Now, Paul, can you tell me exactly what brought you in today? Um, I've noticed recently that things at distance have started to get a little blurry. Okay. Well, how long has that been going on? Um, like three or four months ago I noticed it. And are you getting any headaches with that? Um, not that I've noticed. Okay, great. And what have you done to kind of compensate for that? Um, you know, just sitting in the front row of the class, you know, kind of eliminating distance okay. for me. Okay, very good. Well, then the first thing we're going to do is really test your vision. Okay. okay. So I want you to take this paddle and please cover your left eye so that you can't see out of that. And I want you to look down the end of the room, look at that chart, okay? Okay. And read that chart for me. Um, Z, S, P, D, C. Good. What's the lowest line you can make out there? Um, T, L, S, V, N. Okay. Very good. Now I want you to cover your other eye. And same thing, what's the lowest line you can make out out there? Um, T, L, S, V, N. Great. Any on the next line at all? No. Okay. And now with both eyes? T-L-B-V-N. Very good. Okay, Paul, now I'm going to take a look at the health in the back of your eye. Okay, okay. so... I want you to look straight ahead, chin up just a little, look way up towards your forehead. Perfect. All right, this is going to be fairly bright. That's normal. Okay, now look up and to your left. Good. Perfect. Okay, Paul, it appears that you may have something we call a corneal dystrophy. Now, one of the advantages of this Google Glass is that I can actually look up pictures and compare on the Google Glass what I'm looking at to what I'm looking at through this instrument to see if that's really what you have. So if you'll give me just a second. Okay, Glass. Google. Corneal dystrophy photos. So now I can see the photos and I can see your eye at the same time. You can scroll through several photos here and because there's several different types of corneal dystrophies. And see if you have a certain type. Okay, I believe I've got it. You can sit back now. Okay, okay Paul. We've completed the exam and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do for you and we're recording this on the Google Glass. Okay. Um, what we found was your eyes were essentially pretty healthy. It looks like you may have a mild corneal dystrophy which is just a little abnormality in the clear covering of your eye. It's not affecting your vision at all. Right. It's something that you were born with and it's not likely to get any worse at this point in time. Okay. okay? And it really has nothing to do with uh, with your glasses and how you see. But you do need a higher prescription in your glasses. So that's what we're going to give you today. Okay? okay? We'll give you a new prescription for your spectacles and uh, you can fill that out front or anywhere you want. Okay. okay? Sounds good. Alright, Paul, we're going to do a test that um, goes over how well your eyes focus together on a target. I'll okay. have you focus on that popsicle stick. Okay. Um, I am going to give my instructor a call. I do have a question, um, so just one second. Call Dr. Morgan. Hey, Dr. Morgan. Hi, Elise. 
All right, um, I have a few questions for you. I'm gonna go over a cover test with the patient. I need to isolate an ESO deviation. Is it base in or base out? That would be base out. Base out, okay. All right, still seeing some movement. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put 10 in front. I would agree. Okay. That looks much better. That looks a lot better, I agree. Okay, great. All right, thank you, Dr. Morgan. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>